Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to get a Subaru Forester key replacement in case you lost all your keys or you just want to have a spare set. In addition, I will go over key replacement cost, types of keys, coding information and some great tips to save you a lot of time and money. Before we start, we would really appreciate if you can like this video and of course if you need any help you can contact us 24-7 and we will connect you with a locksmith near you. So, Subaru Forester has different type of keys. One is a key fob or push to start option. You get into the vehicle, you push the start button and the car is on. The other option is a regular ignition which you actually have to put the key in the ignition and turn to start the vehicle. Let's go over each option. For the push to start option we have three keys. First, between 2019 and 2021 we have a key fob with part number HYQ 14AHK. Second, between 2016 and 2018 we have a key fob with part number HYQ 14AHK. C, like yet. And third, for 2014 and 15, we have a key fob with part number HYQ 14ACX. All of these key fobs must be coded on site with a spatial machine. For Subaru Forester with a regular ignition, we have five transponder keys. First, between uh, 2019 and 2021, we have a key with part number CWTWB1G077. Second, between 2014 and 2018, we have a key with part number CWTWB1U811. Third, between 2011 and 2013, we have a key with part number DAT17T42. Fourth, for 2009 and 2010, we have a transponder key with part number DAT17T13. And fifth, between 2005 and 2008, we have a transponder key with part number SUB4PT. All of these transponder keys must be coded on site with a spatial machine. And finally, between 1998 and 2004, we have a non-transponder key with part number SUB1. Now it's time for tip number one. There are many different key fobs and transponder keys that look exactly the same. However, they have a different chip value inside them. And if you get the wrong key, you get the wrong chip. Wrong chip, and you will not be able to start the vehicle. So always remember to provide the locksmith or dealer either the exact year make and model of your car or the VIN number and the type of key you add. For example, 2021 Subaru Forester push to start or key fob. Now let's go over a Subaru Forester key replacement cost. You have three options to get a key replacement and the price varies depending on where you get the new key. First, get a key online and then have a locksmith or dealer cut and program it for you. Second, call an automotive locksmith who can come and make you a key and code it on site. And third, tow the car to the dealer. Let's start with the key fob. Online depends on the key fob. You can get it for about uh, 40 to 70 dollars and including cutting and coding about 260 to 300. A locksmith should charge you about 300 as well for on-site service at your location and a dealer 360. For the transponder key you should pay online about $15 and a total uh, of 180. A locksmith should charge you about 200 for on-site service at your location and the dealer about 280. The following is very important to remember. While some keys can be coded without a spatial machine, it is not the case here. Therefore, if you decide to buy a key online, you will have to contact either the locksmith or dealer to do it for you. You cannot do it yourself. Before we continue, a quick word about a spare key or a duplicate. Making an additional key 
when you already have a working key, is much cheaper and faster. Therefore, we highly recommend getting two keys in case you lost all your keys, as the second key should cost less than half. Now, some tips to save you a lot of time and money. First, call a few locksmiths, get a few quotes. This is very important, as some locksmiths are very busy on a given day, and some aren't. Use it for your advantage. Second, try to call a few companies, even if they are not located right next to your location. Most locksmiths offer a mobile service, sometimes up to 30 mile radius. So even though the business address might be far from you, they might be helping the customer right next to you. Do your research, it will pay off. Third, try to schedule an appointment, if you can wait a while. Most locksmiths would prefer to give you a 10, even 15% discount if you can wait while they finish another job. This way, it can work out for everybody. You get a discount, they get a job. Ask for it. Don't be shy. Finally, just like a mortgage, try to negotiate. If you find a better quote, tell them. Who knows, maybe they will give you a better one. Now, a very important tip that is relevant for uh, replacement key fobs. Every key fob also has an emergency key to help you get into the vehicle in case the battery dies and you can't use the remote to unlock the doors, like in this picture here. Problem is that many times dealers and locksmiths either forget or just too lazy to cut this key and they only do the coding of the key fob. So it's very important to check and verify that they did catch you the emergency key and that you can unlock the doors with it, just as you would have checked if you made a copy of your house key. Here are some examples of uncut emergency key on the left and one that was cut as it should be on the right. Now, regardless of uh, which type of key you add, let's make sure you ask the dealer or locksmith for your key code, which can save you between $50 to $100 in case you need a new key in the future. Let me explain. In order to cut your new replacement key, the dealer or locksmith need to get a key code, which tells them the right cuts of your key to match the doors and ignition cylinders. This key code, of course, is unique to each car, and the dealer or locksmith have to pay about $50 to $100 to obtain it from the database. Now, since they already cut your replacement key, it means you already paid them for this key code, so it's yours to keep. Problem is, most people aren't aware of that. Bottom line, in case you lose your key again in the future, you can save money by providing the locksmith or dealer your key code. They should give you a discount on the total price, and the process should be much faster. The key code is usually a combination of letters and numbers. For more great tips, you can visit our blog post about car key replacement cost. That's it! I hope you liked this video and would really appreciate if you can give us um, the thumbs up and thanks a lot for watching.